Welcome to video number 39. Yeah, and by we, I mean mostly Mr. Miller's back. Yeah. You ready for an hour of geometry? How about five minutes? Okay, five minutes. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover Euclid's proof. That's Euclid right there. That's kind of a selfie. He's a handsome guy. Yeah, he, he was. Nice beard. All right, so anyway, uh, this is one of the proofs you're supposed to know as a geometry student. Uh, we've been proving that triangles are congruent and things like that. This is a proof that the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180. Every single time. Yep. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is actually going to be short. Okay. We're going to start with a little warm up. Yeah. So we see here that lines M and N are parallel. Mm -hmm. Well, we know from before that these three guys are yeah. supplementary. So if I have 70 here and 30 here, that's 100. So that means A has to be 80. Very good. So we've talked about linear pairs, so like two angles that form a line at the 180. Mm -hmm. We don't usually call them linear triplets, but we have three angles that form a line, so they have to add up to 180. Right. Okay. Um, well, I know 70 and C, these look like alternate interior angles. Excellent. Yeah, that's a connection between the top and the bottom. So that should be the case. Um, and then this is supplementary with B, so that's 70. This has to be 110. Awesome. We also could have added 80 and 30. Those are also in alternate interior angles. Wow. A couple, couple ways to do things. He has his master's degree in stats, but he's good at geometry also. All right. Mm, we'll go on, Mr. Lewis. All right. So 30 and D, those also look like alternate interior angles. They are. Score. Okay. And then using our supplementary skills, I know that this is 150. Very good. Now, before we go on, the reason why we did this diagram mm -hmm. is this is the diagram that Euclid drew to explain why the angles of a triangle add up to 180. Right. So he's going to make use of the alternate interior angles, the 270s and the 230s, mm -hmm. for a general triangle. But those, two, those pairs he's going to use. All right. All right. So we're going to discuss kind of the, the, the plan for the proof. Okay. Let's plan it up. And actually, his proof is going to be the general assignment. Ooh. All right. So they get to do it. All right, so we're going to start with your uh, a triangle. It could be any triangle. And we label the angles as 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And the goal is to show that for any triangle, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180. Now, there's an assumption that we're going to make that's uh, an assumption that's true in, in geometry that you can draw a line parallel to a given line through any point you want. So you see at the top of the triangle. Can you circle that point at the top of the triangle? Yeah. yeah. What they did is they drew a line through that point that's parallel to the bottom of the triangle. Mm -hmm. It's actually yeah. called the parallel postulate. Geometry is built on a set of about seven or eight postulates. That these are just assumptions we assume to be true. And actually all the rest of geometry follows from it. So we haven't discussed that much in class, but this is one of the fundamental assumptions in geometry. Actually, it's not even seven or eight. I think it's four or five assumptions. This so number keeps getting lower every time. I know, but so anyway, so that's what he did. He drew a line through the top point parallel to the base. Now, here's the plan. Yeah. We know that the angles up top. Maybe you can uh, underline them. Four, three, and five. Those have to add to 180. Mm -hmm. So that's where this first equation comes. Maybe you can circle that first equation. That's where that comes from that those three angles have to add up to 180 because they form a straight angle. Now, angle 1 and angle 4 are ultimate interior angles, so they're congruent. So in this equation, we can replace 4 with angle 1. Over the way? Yeah. Yeah, that's called substitution. So when you kind of writing the proof, the reason why we can replace angle 4 with angle 1 is substitution. They're equal. We can put one in for the other. All right, going on the other side, angles 5 and angle 2, those are alternate interior angles. So in my first equation where we had angle 5, we can substitute angle 2. And then what do we have? Uh, I think we have 1 plus 3 plus 2, and those are all the interior angles of this triangle. Equals 180. Yeah. That's the game plan. So the game plan, draw a parallel line, write an equation for the top angles, Substitute, and we have the equation we want. Okay. All right, let's go to the journal assignment. Here it is. 
So uh, the givens are a triangle with vertices and angles as labeled. It's just like what we just discussed. And of course, we want to prove that the interior angles add up to 180. Mm -hmm. All right, so I filled in the first one. Step in the proof was the given. I filled in the reason for the second one, because that's something new. That it says construct a line through the vertex parallel to the opposite side of the triangle as shown. Wow, that's called the parallel postulate. Everything else, see if you can come up with the reason. Okay, they can do it. This is cool. Euclid would be proud, man. <laughs>